Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Sonia Rodriguez. Today is Sunday, the 21st of March, 2021. We are going to reflect on the Gospel according to John, chapter 12, verses 20 to 33. Let's open wide our hearts and listen. Now, among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, So, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honour. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The Gospel of the Lord. There are several instances in scripture where Jesus stated or implied that his hour had not yet come. Every time when evil spirits shouted out his identity, Jesus rebuked them to be quiet. There were times when he healed people and told them to keep it under wraps. When his apostle Peter declared him to be the Messiah, Jesus sternly ordered all of them not to discuss it openly. And after the transfiguration, he instructed the apostles who witnessed it to reveal it to everyone only at a specific time, which they did. In case we are wondering about the secrecy, Jesus explained, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. The purpose of Jesus' mission would be fully and finally revealed to all only in the Father's set time. Any attempt to fast forward the process would serve no purpose. In today's passage, we find Jesus declaring for the first time that his hour to be glorified had come. He had just entered Jerusalem triumphantly with the people proclaiming him King of Israel. Jesus knew people were fickle. We see in the Old Testament how the people rejected God as their king and demanded Samuel to appoint a new king for them. Similarly, Jesus knew that the same people who had welcomed him singing his praises would soon switch sides and scream for his crucifixion. The Father's purpose in glorifying His Son, Jesus, was not in being appointed as King in worldly terms to serve selfish human interests, but a selfless act of grace to save all of humanity, thereby bringing ultimate glory and honour to the Father. To do this, Jesus, the seed of God, had to die in order to bear fruit, just like a caterpillar has to die for it to turn into a beautiful new being, a butterfly. It submits itself in all humility to its creator and trusts the process being obedient unto death. The metamorphosis it goes through is difficult and excruciating, but it ultimately leads to an amazing outcome, a new destination, a brand new life. I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. We too need to be like a grain of wheat in his hand, submit to his will and trust the process living life believing that in his time we will bear fruit and reach our ultimate eternal destination. God bless you.